is not a steak hoagie. It's not a chicken hoagie. It's a sausage hoagie, y'all. Let me show you how easy it is to make a sausage hoagie. What is popping, my YouTube fam? We are back today with another nice, quick recipe idea, you guys. This is like if you're if you just have the taste for like a nice, quick bomb lunch. We are making hoagies today. We are not making chicken hoagies. We are not making steak hoagies, you guys. We are going to make sausage hoagies. So as you see, I have my veggies right here, already getting nice and sautéed up. I'm going to open up some mild banana peppers. I'm going to slap those right in the middle. So those get a nice char on it too. Slap those right down in there. You guys, don't knock it till you try it. This, listen, bomb, bomb hoagie. So wait, okay, let's get a little bit more pepper. And then I'm going to show you guys what kind of sauce I'm using. Hold on. A little bit more. There you go. So what we're gonna do is just like we're not going to season our sausage because those are packed with flavor already. So we are just going to lightly season our uh, veggies, and we are going to season our veggies with some steak seasoning. We are using some steak seasoning. So we just go sprinkle some on those onions, those peppers, and those mushrooms. I also um, drizzled some olive oil and some butter flavored cooking spray on my veggies just to get that fried nice and started up. Okay, boom. Okay, that's it. Let me show you guys what kind of sauce I'm using. So you guys, these camellia sausage is like a buffalo staple. They are like the best sausages here in Buffalo. Camellia sausage, they come in mild or hot, bomb diggity, shout out to camellia. They look just like this, regular sausage links, flavorful, bomb, right? So, what I do when I make these sausage hoagies, you guys, is I parboil the sausage and then take them out, let them cool, and then I dice them up just like this, you guys. I dice them up just like this. So they can fit nice and cute in my hoagie. So then after my veggies are done frying, we're gonna take these off, of course, and then we're gonna fry up our sausage. Then we're gonna combine everything together, melt some cheese over it, bomb.com. Let me tell you. Mom.com. Step out the box. You don't always need chicken hoagies. You don't always need the steak hoagies. You can do this sausage hoagie is so good, y'all. It's so good. And it's a nice, quick, and simple. It's so quick and simple. I mean, the most you're going to be doing is just uh, cutting up your vegetables. But come on, that's nothing. That's nothing to cut up an onion. So we're gonna get these nice and sauteed and wilt it down and then we're gonna take it up to the next step. Get these a good stir. Make sure them seasonings is all incorporated. Hope everybody is doing spectacular out there. Counting down the days till Christmas. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. You know I appreciate you guys more than you ever know. If you are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, please. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you know each and every time your girl Teach is uploading a video. If y'all can smell, listen, if y'all can smell in here. So what I'm going to do is let these char up. I'm going to drizzle a little bit more olive oil and spray a little bit more spray to keep it nice and lube, just a little drizzle. Okay, a 
a little spray of that butter spray. And y'all, I'm going to let this do what it do. And then I'm going to be back. When I come back, these will be all done. And we'll be frying up our sausage, y'all. Stay tuned. All right, my beautiful YouTube family. And so, our veggies are nice and sauteed. Here they go right here, you guys. Those mushrooms, those sauteed onions, those peppers. Perfect. Okay. Now, it is time to sear up our sausages. Um, like I said, I parboiled them for maybe about um, 20 minutes. So, it's not going to take long at all for these to fry. As soon as you start seeing them get nice and golden brown, with that nice sear on it on it then you know that they are just about done so I'm not gonna bore you guys with showing you guys how these are gonna saute up beautifully I'm gonna cut the camera and then I'll be back when it is time to start building these bad boys stay tuned okay my YouTube fam is y'all ready to build this joint so let's build it up so here's all of our beautiful ingredients look at this look at that take a minute and take just take it in Whew. sausage peppers mushrooms onions oh ho, ho. so you want to lay get off of there lay your um mixture right back down on your griddle but i love this griddle y'all this griddle gets it done y'all hear me this griddle gets it done. Quick lunch, quick fix. So I'm using um, little six inch um, hero rolls. So I'm not gonna really um, super pack it. You know, if somebody else wants um, seconds, there's plenty left. They could just, um, you know, make a separate one. So we have our, or another one. So we have our mixture of meat and delicious vegetables right here now we are going to because it's a sausage hoagie you kind of just want to treat it just like a sausage really so we're going to add a little bit of mustard okay a little bit of mustard tad bit of ketchup And I could have added my special hoagie sauce, but it's all good, you guys. This is going to be bomb. We're also going to add a little splash of A1. Not a lot. It's going to give it a nice taste. Little splash of A1. Okay. Now let's give this a little toss. Just like this. Just like this. Nice little, just to incorporate that stuff. Just to incorporate it. And remember, our filling is done. So, y'all know it ain't nothing left to do. Nothing left to do now, you guys, but melt that cheese, baby. Okay, because you got that. Ooh, y'all. Quick nice idea like what if you don't have no steak meat or what if you don't have no chicken and what if you just got sausage you can make a hoagie using sausage regular American white cheese you guys nothing crazy I said this before with like hoagies I just find regular American cheese to be the best Especially when you're doing a hoagie. So that's all we need is two slices per each. Now, should have had the movies a little closer. Let me get this movies a little closer. Just like that. Now, let's do our little trick which is, I got a little bit of water in this pan right here. I'm just gonna drizzle that water just like that and make a steamer, just like that. We're just making a nice little steam. Steam bag. 
I already went ahead, you guys, and toasted my um, little hero rolls. Nice little hero roll, just like that. Six inch hero roll, nice and toasted. Now, this is optional, you guys. You don't have to, but I'm gonna go ahead and add a little, little, little bit of mayo on my bread. And we could actually, uh oh, we could actually turn this off, unplug this griddle, and I'm gonna add a little bit of, I'm over here just adding a little bit of mayo, you guys. Little bit of mayo. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do a lot of things that I did. You know, like I'm just giving you the blueprint. You take the blueprint, you make it your own. Okay, so we got a little bit of mayo on our bread right there. Now, let's lift this up and see what our cheese doing. Perfect. Wonderful. Wonderful. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. What I'm going to do is sprinkle on some black pepper. Just to finish it off, give it a nice little black pepper. <clears throat> Looking so good. Hope you guys can see that really good because this looks amazing. Okay. Like that. So now you guys, nothing to it but to take your meat and spoon it on. I always spoon it. Let me move this back because I y'all can't see. Move that back. So I, what I do when I put my meat on there, you guys, I always turn, turn it cheese side down always I don't keep it cheese side up so see I'm gonna take it cheese side down okay <clears throat> excuse me so we're just spooning up and putting it right on our hoagie right on our hoagie roll y'all and this is done this is done get you some chips make you some french fries on the side get your ice cold Pepsi or ice cold water whatever you choose to do but this here mm, it's done let me give you guys a nice close up hold up <clears throat> excuse me give you guys a nice close up this is done you guys look at that sausage hoagie quick and simple quick simple easy nice little six inch look at that Ooh -ho -ho. Take a bite of that. Take a bite of that. As always, I thank you guys so much for watching. Can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Everybody stay safe and stay blessed.